Hello humans and non-humans alike and good over life to you. Today we are back on Pillars of Eternity PS4 Let's Play. Where last time I think we stole some shit and then a bunch of ghosts are trying to murder us. Day in the life of an adventure. Grave robbing. And since we saved there, let's find out. Uh, look inside. Climb in! Pull the lever! Minecraft moves downhill and quickly gets free. Our next hour becomes clear that there is some form of enchantment upon the track. The cart loses none of its momentum. After a sharp turn, you find yourself rapidly approaching a fork in the tracks. One track leads left, then another upward and to the right. Uh, look around quickly. You notice another lever set alongside the tracks. And Minecraft hurdles towards it. Grab the lever as you pass. A dare. In a show of agility, a dare manages to hang over the side of the cart and grab the lever as it comes along. The lever slams into place, and the impact the unit knocks the dare out of the cart. There's a grinding noise, and the track shifts to heavy you. Just in time, the cart rattles onto the right track. After a serious eating series of turns and twists, the mine cart slows, then stops at the entrance to a new cavern. Well, that was. Dents in minecarts and heaps of rubble walk the tunnel. Eyes open. Kind of underwhelming. Uh, it's literally just a hole. Um, but the sigil of shield. I'll see what's ahead. More Durgan cog wheels. Uh, okay. Hop in. Here in your current sky running minecarts, uh, you put a lever and hear the now familiar whine of rusty wheels as the minecart starts rolling along the track. After a series of gentle twists in the cart, the cart approaches a familiar cavern. Now, let's try going left. Ow. Okay, I guess there's no way to go left. Now that we went right, well, that's kind of weird. At least, personally, I think it's weird. <laughs> Alright. Oh, nothing I can do about it. Time to move forward! Where we'll probably run into... Okay, wait, why are we stopping? Move. As you wish. Well, that was weird. Uh, we even... Okay, we went that way before. And for some reason, my characters go to a dead stop here. And are no longer under my control. Huh. That may be the weirdest bug I've ever seen. Well, at least it's a CRPG and I could just pull out cursor and use that to move around. Yay! Okay, now... Which way am I even going now? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why... It's like the novel you're not banging... Yeah, I don't know, I don't know... Okay, the cavern just sort of ends in a pit of blackness! That's not disconcerting at all. Uh, in the first door, you notice a round depression within the round tray, and the molding around the depression is elaborately carved with a row of foreign symbols laying the topmost. Examine the sockets. The depression is about three fingers with thick, with a few small stone fragments jutting out from within the wall. Some pieces seem to rotate independently along slots, but they have no obvious effect in and of themselves. Uh, I ain't gonna touch that just yet. Let's go back here. Uh, Sick with Prussian Carter Stone, sit below the wreath of the Dwarven Warrior, the orange will appear charging ahead against an unseen enemy. Inspect the stone carving. 
three holes puncture the bottom of the circular depression there just seem worn as if something had scraped against them. Appears to be charged holding a shield, low and a sword high. Okay, wait, let's save before we mess with this puzzle stuff. Puzzle puzzle stuff. Now I wonder what happened if I had gone left. Well, since I can't do it again, I'm assuming that means I would have just died horribly. Yeah, well. Uh, put the sword in? You hold the symbol in place, matching its protrusions against the holes in a circular depression, and they align perfectly. A gentle push is enough to slide the symbol into its receptacle. You hear a faint clicking sound behind the stone wall. Uh, I'm no this hole, not that hole. This one. Uh, circuit depression anchors. Unseen enemy. Above the threshing of is ready to defend against a charging charge, holding his shield high and a sword low. Uh, shield. All right, same thing. And there's only one option for this. Show or hold his own helmet high in sign of victory. Hold the symbol in place, matching its protrusion against the holes in the circular depression. Well, we did that. I'm guessing that's how we would have raided the altar without triggering anything, isn't it? Well, shit! That was basically meaningless, then. How oh, lovely! Alright, let's keep going. And editing on this all is nice. It's going to be annoying. Place the stone disc. Uh. This doesn't seem to fit until it is oriented. Away. You hear a quiet click of case casing as it sinks into place. Rotate the disc clockwise. Uh, to click. Rotate your eyes as left string is more. Uh, clockwise. Clockwise. Push. Okay. And for a sec, you feel satisfying. Duncan notice the dial has shrunk a fraction. A sunk a fraction of an inch into the depression. Okay, what did I do wrong? Uh, Okay. So it's south, west, and I guess east then. The hair lower into the small cell then it changes almost to small sea, but it seems to indicate progress. Then I think north, right? You press the disc to see how it points north, the trust nothing seems to happen, but after a few seconds of pass, the disc recedes further into the sockets. We've done it! And my sister is texting me saying my Instagram has been hacked. Lovely! I don't even use the fucking thing. I literally just use it to look at other people's shit. I don't use it myself. <sighs> I don't know, someone's posting Ray-Ban's advertisements all day. Well, shit.
There's not really much I can do about that, is there? I mean, shit. Uh... Well, I don't see any options for changing anything here. That's kind of annoying. I haven't posted anything to this fucking Instagram in years. Uh... Mm, I don't seem to have an option to just kill my Instagram account. Yes, I'm sure I want to proceed. Uh, you know, it's the private account. Uh, is there any way to just delete the fucking account? Appears not. Great. Well, oh, nothing I can do about that. Then to completely ignore it. In targeting attack spells and other abilities, the dotted ring around the character indicates the maximum range of that shit. Together. We're in this together. I mean, really, you destroyed each other over this damn forge? Honestly. I'll organize the troops to guard the stairs. We can hold them off for a while. Basel's repairing the guardians. Elune's preparing for the... You can't be serious about this. Let's just wait those monsters out. Abidun wouldn't let us... Abidun rewards earnest work, not begging and cowering. We must hurry. Really, the fucking treasure was just gonna sit there and say, yourself, "The guys won't let us get killed." I'm guessing that means this is an armory. Good freshly greased. Yay! You, say so. got it done. you know, a person's gotta love clear directions. Hello, armory. And if I find something good, you can have half. Exceptional breastplate, fine hide armor. The helm, term of God doesn't refer to my ability to carry unlimited quantities of war spoils. Exceptional brigadine. Quickness. Uh, plus attack speed. That's pretty cool. Minor spellbind knockdown. You give me any I more think I already have one of those girdles. And you're playing favorites. Right, that was camping supplies. Uh, who needs more attack speed? Melee damage, accurate, spell damage, restore light endurance and plus perception, accurate, burn, damage reduction bonus, my spell my firebrand. I can summon a flaming sword. Because that is most definitely useful. Constitution, plus two, three plus two. Binding, wait, what's this binding? Okay, so people who hit you get stuck. Movement rate. Really? Yeah. All right, let's just keep going then. Actually, let's rest. Camping supplies right there. Everyone's pretty banged up. May as well rest. 
inside the ghost filled facility. Because, of course, that sounds like an excellent idea. Let's sleep with the ghosts. This is definitely not Monster Encyclopedia World, so that could definitely have bad repercussions. I'll see you once give ahead. ourselves for the battery. Okay! Doors closing by themselves. It's fucking Poltergeist! You see me coming. Oh, wait, I kill ghosts on a regular basis. Very good. The survive. records are here. Keep searching. Is this safe, Curate Loon? No, it's necessary. Curate! No, you don't want to talk? Fine. Nice and quiet. I'll just rob all your shit. <laughs> More scrolls to sell, and gland fathom stalking boots. Plus damage to flying targets, and also peregrine. It was a time of Edra Hillisher footed that we came to Kraman Relaga. <laughs> you give me any more. What do your boots do? Bell holding, grip, pain, disengagement, defense bonus. Okay, that's actually pretty good for you. Uh. Fascist movement speed. So, or give some people will start yeah, thinking know. you're playing favorites. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I can't get enough of your love, bird. Battery defenders. Whew, good thing I saw. Oh you well, movie. shit. <laughs> oh fucking shit. Okay, who's here? Uh, Devil of Karak. And Alos, uh, Aniha is over here, and the fuck am I doing over there? Well, we're fucked. Calm down, there are things you can do to get out of this. Not many things, but they exist. Petrify, I don't really think... Petrifying ghosts is gonna do much. I don't know, it's just a feeling. You notice the shadow movements? Like right there, on like the bottom left. You see that? Like on this grate, like right here, whenever I move this around, there's like a little movement there. I don't know, I just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> I don't think it actually means or does anything. A bunch of dead ghosts, oh fuck. And guess who got stuck in the worst place possible for their given class? Okay. Oh fuck. Stuck over here. Okay, yeah, you are really stuck. Oh, uh, like, oh my god, there's nothing I can do stuck. Not a- oh, that's a slightly inconvenient stock. Well, may as well make the most of it. Adair, get in there. This engagement is perfectly fine. I can handle myself, I think. She most certainly cannot. Yay! She got away! Okay, we saved the Devil of Karak. However, she is definitely about to die. That's 
Dragon Leap! Yes! Excellent idea! Devil of Karak! You got another one of those, right? <laughs> I love doing that! Oh, that is the best. As just taps the bee's knees. The ba -da 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 -da. Oh, Devil of Karak, you are definitely staying in my party. However, since I've seen the list of people that go into the next game... Whew, good thing I sold most <sighs> of the pieces, son. That'll do. I'm gonna miss you. Shimmering Cloak, range deflection bonus, my spellbind mirror image. More of those Durgan cog wheels. I have no idea what they do, but they're worth money. So we're taking them. Do you have a problem? I'm no f I'm a godlike, does it? Carry unlimited quantities of war spoils. Guess what? Now it does! We're finding new definitions for things every day. So shut up and carry unlimited quantities of war spoils. The real question is, are we going the way we're supposed to be? Because if we are, then we need to go the opposite. Who exactly were they fighting, if not each other? It looks like at this point they were fighting. They must stand up for the heat. Right away, Master Vasil. Potion of Mage Endurance, Opal, Hammer and Chisel, and an Armory key. Nice! Some people will start thinking you're playing nice. The term of God Knight doesn't Let's refer to my junk. ability to be so so. Unlimited quantities of war spoils. Adrosphere. Hmm. That's weird. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, it's a quest item. Oh, must give me access to something. They even worked with Audra. Well, again, they did have like a door that required mm, voice Quickly, commands. There's not much time. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to go that way. Or rather, I am supposed to go that way. So I shouldn't go that way. Adventuring Logic 101! If you're supposed to go there, don't go there! First, anyway. A whole portion of stone's edges are blackened and gritty with soot. We'll stand ready, Commandants! I, uh, I feel like this is the right way, though, because of that little s white mark up there. It's the same as that. Hmm. What to do, what to do... But then there are a bunch of spirits here as well. But if they're referring to the Commandants... Alone, we've never introduced this much essence into the White Forge. It... Abidon gave see us what the we tools, Basil. We've got to make them work. Okay, books and pages, scrolls, equation, measurements of essence are scattered across the tables as someone went through them in a hurry. Alun and Vassal, they had names before. Doug and I got on the binding of souls. The margins of this text are scribbled with notes and references. The ink stained pages appear to have been seen much use in the early times. The removal and transfer of souls is a practice both ancient and sophisticated. There's evidence that the inquitans are particularly adept at this, yet few details have survived them. Someone scrawled Annals of the Peregrine, page 
page 382 to 6, below this paragraph, it is known as that the removal of the soul is a difficult process and one that requires an expert hand and precise tools for any chance of success. Early attempts on a test pool of 138 goats left most of the subjects with maimed or fractured souls in all but two of the 11 instances where the soul is successfully removed. The essence dissipated before scholars could capture it. The words transferred to holding vessel are written and underlined in the margin. The process requires conductive materials, copper and audra. Specifically, immersion in water is important to ensure that the soul is drawn in a steady and uniform manner, with no distortions or breakage. A warped soul is at best useless and at worst unpredictable. Now, points in this paragraph, a scrunched note, blah, blah, blah. we have since mastered the process of soul transference and have seen the benefits of infusing forged work with the essence of animals and wilder. What remains to be seen is whether we might see greater gains from using the souls of kith, where we would procure the appropriate subjects, and how much personality and autonomy we would want to leave intact in such cases. Interesting notes, lines around and below this paragraph, beginning with criminals, prisoners of war, volunteers, and with forged guardians in black letters. Oh, that's how they came so. about. That's not nice. The term godlike doesn't refer to my ability to carry unlimited quantities of war spoils. Uh, your skin prickles as you approach the vat. It seems a soul, teens of soul energy, with lives spent and stored thrice over. Essence royals like churning water running over ancient pipes and gears. Leave it for now. Save. And then go take the thing full of souls. You'll a chill run up your arm the moment your fingers brush to the surface. Whispers are up from the stone around you, and out of that chorus rises a single steady voice. Stop! These methods belong to us! To the Pargrunin! Uh, what happened here is what I want to know. You would steal from us? From the... Abidun himself! You will regret your trespass! You hear a grinding, clicking noise in the hall, something moans and snarls outside. Well, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. The term of God doesn't that's refer to my junk. ability Great. to carry unlimited quantities. All right, of what's here to kill me? Come Your on, bring sense. it on! Oh shit! Bring them down! Where am I supposed to put that? Well, it looks like we activated every single trap in this place, and you leveled. Congratulations! And you need at least one point in survival. Definitely another rogue is contributing to the flank's affliction on a target. The victim is also distracted. By stepping through the between, the rogue is able to seemingly teleport across the battlefield for a few moments, automatically returning to his air starting position when the effect ends. The rogue performs a primary attack that does additional damage and keeps the target stunned. The adjacent target is distracted. The distraction inflicts another one's target's target defenses by six. Yeah, but I don't know what conditions actually allow sneak attack. That's per rest, and 10% of hits compared to crits would be nice, but I'm gonna go with that. And I'm assuming someone's going to be screaming, DON'T DO THAT! WHAT ARE YOU DOING? No.
Well, fuck. Oh, look at here. No, no trap. Wait, where did the dare just go? Oh my god! How? The? Okay, you need to heal him. That will heal people around you. You guys stay here. You need to head down there to help the. Uh, you and Alos go down there. Me, Maneha, and Pelagina will stay up here and try to deal with this. A uh, melee weapon seems like best bet for right now. And unpause! Oh my god, poor Dare. They just ambushed the shit out of him. Okay, um... Alos, 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 you have spells to help for this? I think, somewhere. Alright, we need backup. So, uh, make a clone of yourself. That will use ability. That card goes to a caster card and charge it to enemies hit by it. Okay, that's good enough. Zap! Uh, I didn't give her the abilities that increases her thing against undead people. Because I thought, well, we wouldn't fight undead that much, would we? Uh, Talk about ooh. stupid fucking decisions, right? Yeah, the shadow ain't one of my characters, so I don't know why you pause him. Okay, good, you're assisting Pelagina. Pelagina, Pelagina, something or other. One of those is correct. This Wait. Ke Devil of Karak, where the fuck do you think you're going? We got that shit covered. Go down here and help. Adair's completely surrounded. Thing isn't doing the job. <laughs> Good, she's engaged in some type of combat. Alright, okay. I need to switch you to... Bow, and use that. This is getting... And then you need to assist Devil of Karak. I need some... Okay, Adair, we're coming for you, buddy! That's not very helpful. I used up all my wounding shots. In other words, I am now useless. Uh, barbaric yell! You, start knocking- knock someone down, damn. That's not- This is getting nowhere! Then again, knocking down a ghost does seem like an incredibly stupid idea. There you go. Charge right through him. Gina, why aren't you doing anything? Hit something. For the love of gods, hit something. I may need to look up the solution for that fucking cursed sword. Is otherwise she's gonna have that thing on for the literal rest of the game. And we're gonna be fighting through ghosts the entire rest of this <laughs> floor. Yay! I love fighting the undead. Next time Palagina levels, in other words, in the next two levels, we're giving her the thing that lets her kill undead. We're doing that. Because shit.
We'll hold them off as long as we can. They pulled this construct apart like a child's toy. They won't see well, that's coming. not good, considering that construct is made out of pure metal. Holy shit. What the fuck attacked you people? Giants? Well, actually, we do have ogres. No, but even they wouldn't be strong enough to rip apart metal like that. Hmm. The mystery. Let's see, if they were under attack, something could capable of ripping apart metal. Being able to get through this many defenders, some of them skilled fighters, it would have to be something intelligent, so that takes out troll. Hmm. Kill them all. The ability to rip apart metal does limit the options here. Fuck, Adair keeps getting teleported! The fuck? He's stunned, so he won't actually do that. Uh... And I'll try that. Aloth. We're gonna need to pull more spells out of the book for this one. Maneha, I want you backing him up somehow. And Dove Karak, you can stay where you are. Yeah! Okay, now everyone's in the shit. Uh, Aloth, you might want to blast the thing walking up at you. And you're stunned. Great. Uh, Katapa! Disengage and hit Ed for that. Ah, oh, he's petrified. Um, Aloth, don't die. I'm stuck over here. Oh, never mind, I got him. Yeah! Okay, everyone's doing okay so far. Uh,. You have another arcane assault you can pull out. Excellent. Okay, you might want to use your. Uh... Actually, no way. Just use this. The fuck am I doing? That makes more sense. I wonder if our levels will carry over to the next game. That'd be fun. And St. Yedwin's Redeemer. Kill ten vessels with St. Yedwin's Redeemer to unlock the next vessel. Or be revived during combat five times. Uh, okay. So I passed away of the twice split arrows in honor of his bravery and skill during a ritual blood hunt. This was a moment of great pride for the tribe, typically regarded as least among the six. It was also a time of shifting borders and changing relations between Deerwood and Irglanfa. Fostered by the newfound prestige and eager to seize more, the real of the twice split arrow declared that their young hunter should lead a series of raids on slaveholding estates. The first few were successful, but when the raiders set their sights on a village run by a guild of coopers, they were quickly overwhelmed. The hunter was killed and the sword lost. I'm no Don't you just love hearing all those wails of the damned in the morning? Like, literally, constantly. Oh, Abidon abandoned your asses. Slowly now. You'd think that would be obvious, considering the whole decadence and lunacy you seem to have succumbed to. Gilded halls on a place that was supposed to be sacred to the gods of blacksmithing, I'm guessing? <laughs> I don't know, shit. <laughs> Okay, they teleported away. Why do they keep teleporting it there? Oh my god, okay. Ah, uh, Maneha is literally almost a corpse. Uh, Savage Defiance. Okay, Palazina, you can stay there. Um, I need to focus on this. Wounding shots. Uh, looks like the Devil of Karak is already in position, moving into position for that, and you should try knocking down the ghost, because that sentence makes sense.
I don't know, try this. Oh, how do we find a spirit exactly? Okay, Maneha, you're almost a corpse, so go help out over there. And why am I almost dead? I'm petrified. Okay, that would do the trick. That would do it, wouldn't it? Uh, alright. Acolyte Radiance. And then I guess lay on hands, because I keep dying. There you go. Uh, people, go kill. Go, go kill! Yes! If you say so. Alright, crack if this you open. Say so. Ring of Overseeing. Plus you give me any more uh, gifts and people will start thinking you're playing favorites. Yep. Our inventory's full up. You know what that means. Get rid of all the worthless shit. Like this. Destroy. Destroy Night Shroud. Ha ha ha. You crazy. Winged Helm. That. That. Well, those traps are worth money. The game will not let me go to the stash to start getting rid of stuff, huh? Uh, I could get rid of these traps. Confirm! Destroy! We're running out of space for destroying things. That's not good. Not good in the least. Ring of Overseeing. Alright, who actually has area of effect abilities? Uh... What happened to your boots? Didn't he have boots? I thought for sure he had boots boots. Uh, she has heals. Do those kind of area of effect? Uh, that's Agaloff, but he already has a bunch of rings that are pretty good, right? I think. Major Spellbind, Arcane Dampener, plus one to intellect, uh, movement rate's kind of pointless, but Ring of Wizardry, yeah, he can't get rid of that. Uh, you have some area you have a, a frighten I know that and your dragonfall thing is area of effect right so let's just put that on you now I guess of concentration what is concentration Just you how you have their spells or attacks interrupted okay Charm. Yeah, I can see why I never got rid of that. There's a lot of good defenses right there. Great, and I was thinking about soul binding this to the Devil of Karak. Night Shroud. Suggest against blind on hits. Well, that looks painful. See, I'm assuming because it's blind, that means it would, um... Actually, wait, I'm assuming. You know what they say, you assume you ain't got an ass out of you and me. Uh, vision, encyclopedia, blinded, uh, confused, dazed, diseased, distracted, planks. 
Uh, is sneak attack on this list? Okay, it would be in mechanics then. Any curves, anytime two attackers engage an opponent immediately from opposite directions. Grace, health, hit, immune, may miss, model, passive, print counter, secondary scouting. Uh, uh, combat mechanics did not explain sneak attacks at all. Your combat mechanics thing is missing sneak attacks! How the fuck do I do sneak attacks? Be cautious. Be constant. Hey, what is this globe? The Gilded Globe is encountered with exquisite detail. Mountains of hammered gold rise over mirrored smooth seas, and the rivers that carve the continents are as thin and neat as if they had been carved with a razor. Uh, the three gilt perfect spheres mark locations in Rautai, Old Valley, and the Living Lands. The bronze band that circles the globe is inscribed with three repeating lines. Remember all peregrine from the oldest before you to the follow to the youngest who follow you. And examine the globe. The uh, saf sapphires are just large enough for you to press them with your thumb. You test them and feel some kind of spring-loaded mechanism beneath them, but you can't turn anything further. Uh, living Lands. Valia Living Lands Rautai Living Lands Examine the Globe No, no, there you go. Okay, we press the sapphire into living lands. Now let's I Oh. You try sapphire set in living lands, clicks into place before beneath the rippling ridge of a mountain. Into Rautai, based on curving coastline. As last year snaps into place, the globe glows with veins of brilliant blue lights. Then it rotates a quarter turn as the lights die out. You're clanking gears and grinding stones from one of the side of the room. Let's see what we got. We found the treasury. Constitution plus three Return reflex bonus. Life. Doesn't refer to my ability to carry unlimited quantities of war spoils. It does now, so be quiet. Nature's spell chance, nature's mark, hardy, minor spellbind, purge, and toxins. Damn. This is against disease point against purge of toxins, but where's the spell thing? Okay, cast nature's mark. Uh, we are like never getting rid of that axe. I don't care if we have to staple it to our own flesh. Because holy shit. Anyway, uh, one of those belts has a slightly more constitution than you currently do. 309! 320! Nice!
Wait, which one had just had the movement speed? You... that's Dead Man Stand. Delay on consciousness for three seconds. Movement speed, okay, you're the one I could give new boots to. Oh, unarmed strength minus spell plan. Okay, that you can't use. That's basically Zawa over there. Uh, regeneration. Nasty hardy. No, thank you. Uh, quickness accurate. Yada yada. Uh, hmm. I don't have any rings, do I? I know this seems time consuming and kind of unimportant, but it is important to me. My boots have of constitution plus one. Spell holding pain. Well, let's keep going, I guess. We've raided the treasury as best we can. A good adventure should. It's like a literal rule in like an adventure's handbook somewhere. Should you find a treasury, you must rob it blind. Oh god, Bandai Namco's putting out a Tokyo Ghoul game. I just looked at my phone to see how much time was up, and okay, that's the White Forge. Back away. That's where we're supposed to go. Run away. Strengthen us with your flame, Lord Abidan. A blade Temper in the us dark. For the crucible ahead. Well, time to rob the dead and gods, because. Precepts and Proverbs are on. <laughs> Dragonine Ingot and Mirage Spheres. Abaddon stands for me. Tokens. Okay. Well, shit. Um, I'm. Guess we're coming to the end of this, aren't we? So, we're gonna end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like when I come subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates, picture talking cats, and whatever else I decide to put up there. And next time on Pillars of Eternity PS4 Let's Play, we'll be finding out what's in the White Forge. So goodbye, humans and non-humans alike, and good ever applies to you.